Hey guys, Chris again, ClassicVWBugs.com, and in this video, a quick one, and that is 65 and later door assembly video. Now you know I did 64 and earlier years ago, and you can still use that video as a good reference to uh, build your doors, but what I'm going to do is show you the differences between the 65 and later doors. Uh, here's a 67 Beetle that we are working on, and we are building the doors. Uh, and as you can see, you know, we put the uh, insulation in. This door is pretty much already assembled. I just have to put the door panel on and the, the barrier there before the door panel uh, to stop rain from uh, touching the back of the panel. Uh, but what I'm going to show you here is some of the changes that happened in 65 and later. Uh, I'm just going to basically go through the motions here and uh, give you an idea of what we need to do. So, say your door is already stripped. You have nothing in it. You got the car back from paint and uh, you, you're trying to figure out what to do first. So let's go over to this table here. And I have some of the components here from the door. Now I did do a, a vent window restoration video for you guys a few months back on the 65 and later. So if you do have the original vents, you will want to assemble these, put the rubber in, uh, put the felt in, uh, put the vent flap in, get this vent window assembly already assembled because uh, uh, this is gonna have to start going into the door. And one of the first things you're gonna wanna put into the door is of course the door latch here. Okay, so that then sticks out right here and it's mounted with a couple screws here, here. Okay, and there's two screws. You pull the flap back here, you can see uh, that holds this in. I usually clean this up, I put a little bit of grease on it so we slip in okay. But before you do that, um, as you notice on the original uh, latch here, they had like a, I don't know, like a spongy felt material to put around the latch, so I guess when it butts up against the door, you know, it's got a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a cushion, a little bit of a seal to it here. So if you can't find those, or the originals are pretty much all worn out, which they usually are, uh, we usually go to the hardware store and pick up this uh, spongy felt weather strip material, and then you could just kind of, you know, wrap it around here, the latch, no big deal, put that in. Okay, so once then you have that into the door, the next thing you're gonna have to put into the door is the rod now this rod for the see this rod here and it's got a little funky attachment here to it i'll show you what that where that goes but that is to go for here okay for the door handle for the to open the door in and out all right so it's kind of tricky you gotta insert the rod this way, and then attach it to the latch, and you really can't see. I tried attaching it to the latch before inserting it in here, and it was kind of difficult. The rod was going up in all different directions, and uh, it was, I didn't want to bend it, and God forbid you even scratch the new paint. You don't want to do that. Uh, so what you gotta do is you gotta kind of feel around inside the door, and attach this this way. If I can kind of show you, here's the hook, right? Let me pull this clip back. Here's the hook. The hook will go in this way, okay, through the hole. Kind of see if I can get this done for you here with one hand filming and one hand on the latch. Okay, so I got that in. Okay, and then the clip goes over to hold that in place. Okay, so you see like I'm seeing what I'm doing right here? Okay, so you're gonna wanna get that in, and you have to feel into the door to attach that. Okay, so now once you have that in place, and you got the latch all set up, put your, put your bolts here to hold the latch down. Put some sponge material here and back here so this rod does not rattle the door when you shut it. They usually have some sort of a felt material here to stop the rod from rattling when you close the door. So you're definitely going to want to do that so you don't have any issues there. Okay, then after that, you're going to want to put in this channel here. If you could see this with my light, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a channel that goes up in here and it goes up into the door. This is for the felt to insert into the channel and then the glass rides into this channel. Let me show you what this is. This thing looks like. Here's your, ch here's your channel here, your track. Okay, so that goes into the door. You got it upside down. <laughs> so this bolts here to the bottom. As you see, got a bolt right there. Okay, and then the top here clips into the door. You got these little clips that hold that into the door. I can try to find those clips for you, I'll show you, but 
Okay, so these are the clips you're gonna need to hold the track in place, which is kind of funky the way they go in. They will insert into the door this way, and then there's a lip under here. I don't know if you can see it. That's what gets wedged. The clip goes like this into the door. Okay, so that holds in place, and then of course it bolted down here. Now you're also gonna need these clips. These hold the felt channel in place. As you see, there's a hole here on the side. One of those clips goes in here, just like that. Holds the felt in place. These are aftermarket clips. I'm not crazy about these. If you can save the original clips, please do so, because these clips can be a pain in the butt. And they, a lot of times these ears that you see here, they break off, and they're not as strong as the originals. So if you try to save the originals, that would be better for you. And then these clips also go into the molding, the outside window scraper here. Okay, which is what we're going to come up to next. Those clips hold into the door here and up into here to then hold the felt channel. And remember 64 and earlier didn't have those clips. They had screws that hold the chrome in and then you just glued the felt in. You can technically do the same technique here if you want to. Um, there's nothing really wrong with that and that will still work. But you'll, you'll see that there's holes into the doors here for those clips to go into. And uh, that's what holds the felt in place. Okay, so now after you have the uh, latch inserted, you got your rod inserted, you got the, this bolted down, um, or if you're, you know, 60, uh, 65, 66, you could have still the crank uh, uh, pick handle, so to speak, to, uh, to open the door. This is 67, so this is the first year where they went with this handle. Um, once you have that all in place, and then you have this channel in place, now the next thing you can do is put the check rod in here so you can get your hand up into the hole here and get your check rod in place if you did not uh, if you did remove this um, so they do sell new check rods today um, this is a brand new one that we got and of course they did not put it in correctly so you have to basically pull the rod out of this piece and reinsert it the correct way you got to just make sure you insert this the right way guys so just uh, be careful there. Uh, as you're breaking down your doors and as you're assembling things, remember we have the digital world today. Take pictures of everything and you can always go back for reference. Okay, next step of course is the outside window scraper. I do recommend and always recommend the German scrapers. Okay, the clips just go in a lot easier into the door with the German scraper. If you took out the German scraper from the first door, um, you can take those clips out from the old scraper and save those and if you do buy the earlier uh, the cheaper scraper you can use those german clips into the uh, the newer brazilian say scraper uh, so that's the next step you won't have the vent window in yet so you'll have uh, this outside scraper reaches all the way to the front here unlike the 64 and earlier and there's a little tab on the inside of this chrome that you got to poke behind to hold this in place uh, now sometimes those tabs are kind of cheap and you really can't even get your finger in there so if you're having a tough time keeping this chrome you know, to these, to this uh, outside portion of the door, you can just get some masking tape to hold it into place. And don't worry about that, because once you put the vent window in, you can take the masking tape out. So you're gonna wanna pop that outside scraper in. Okay. Okay, so next step is inserting the window uh, mechanism, the winder. 65 and later started, uh, changed the mechanism to this oddly shaped mechanism you see here. And uh, what you're going to want to do is, let me turn it over, you're going to want to grease in here the, the track so this runs smoothly as you're winding the window up and down. Here are those rubber pieces that mount to the, this channel. I'll show you that in a little bit. Just quickly going back to the latch, I forgot to mention when you insert this latch on the 67 and later uh, Beatles, they have uh, the lock here. They started doing the lock here through the door. So you just got to be careful. You have to insert that up into the door and make sure the rod pokes out and then you get your, your lock here that screws on. Okay. There's also a collar that goes into the bottom here, uh, uh, into the door, and then the lock goes into that. If you can't find this collar, uh, you could use a rubber grommet. Okay, so now you insert the mechanism in that big loop that's going to come up into the door here and then come over to here. Put the bolts in loose right now, okay? Leave this one out for now, I'll tell you why in a second. There goes, this is where those rubber uh, pieces go. Again, just to stop the rattling and stop the shock. So when you slam the door when the car's driving, you don't hear this rattling. Um, before you put the glass in, 
uh, it mounts here too as well. You gotta remember when this loop goes up, it's gotta go into this portion of the door, the inner part. A lot of times that loop gets caught and it goes into the outer portion, okay, in the outside portion of the door here. Sometimes it gets caught over here, and that happened to me before, and I didn't even realize it. And then when I was putting the glass in and starting to roll the glass up, it wouldn't go up, and I didn't get what was going on. And sure enough, I had to take this all apart again and take it out, and then make sure the rod is tucking into this section here, the loop, okay? You gotta be careful of that.